Ballygunner are all Ireland champions for the first time ever, the first Waterford team to do it. And Harry Ruddle, he'll never have to buy a drink again down in Ballygunner. He's lived out the boyhood dream. I mean, how many times have kids, male, female, been down in their local park and gone through the routine of saying two minutes down, last second of the game, called out their own name, saying goal, our team wins it. Harry Ruddle has actually had a chance to live that out. Absolutely incredible moment. Sort of moment that as soon as the ball hit the net, the entire place here in Coke Park was just stunned. It was just like mouth gaping open. You just could not believe what you'd just seen. That he had the audacity to drive it in from the edge of the D, 30 yards out, give or take, that it hit the net. And then the whistle went and it was just pandemonium. People could not believe what they were seeing. I certainly couldn't. It was just shocked into silence. It was Sergio Aguero winning the title for Man City. It was Michael Thomas doing it for for Arsenal at Liverpool back in 89. It was just, it was hard stopping stuff. And it just looked like Bally Hale were always just going that extra step or two ahead throughout the game. They, they took the lead, I think, in something like the, um, the the 19th minute of the game. And they were just in charge for most of the game there. I mean, it started off, you were thinking, Bally Gunner, first all Ireland final, first time playing here at Croke Park. They'll want to get settled early. TJ Reid gets a couple of points on the board, early doors from freeze. Becomes his sixth All-Ireland final where he scores. And he obviously, he does it from play then eventually too. Um, Mikey Shee, he gets the first uh, his first score of the game. He ended up with uh, three from centre forward. He was very good. Um, he got the first two. And, you know, it was kind of nip and tuck. And it was like, could Bally Gunner get enough ball into Desi Hutchinson? And there was a yellow card after 21 minutes for Darren Mullen because he lowered the blade on him. But Darren Mullen was actually quite good, even though Desi ended up with one three. And it just seemed like the experience of, of Bally Hale, not to mention the class now. I mean, Ian Kenny did well to, to snuff out uh, Owen Cody because plenty of ball went into him in isolated areas. And he just about kept Cody out a couple of times when he had goal on his mind. And I mean, that was massive. If, uh, if, if Shamrock's had to get too far ahead, in this game, you know, it was, it was probably lights out. But to be fair, they went five points down and the Gunners came back. Just looking at some of the people who did the scoring in this game. I mean, Bally Hale had so many lads who stepped up and scored. Evan Shefflin got a couple from distance. He did that three times against Burris Lee a couple of years ago. In total, the amount of scores for Bally Hale was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So including Owen Reid who came off the bench to score that goal. Um, but I mean, there's so many lads standing up and scoring well for them. I thought Shane O'Sullivan was very good for Bally Gunner. Uh, Billy O'Keefe got a couple of points. He was taken off. Porrick Mahoney, I mean, he didn't, he didn't, he wasn't doing scoring from play, but he hit a couple of frees towards the end of the game, including one from about 55 yards out, you know, inside his own half. And it was just massive to give them that opportunity to get within striking distance. He just didn't think that they were actually going to get it over the line, but they did. Like Kevin Mahoney, not everything uh, came off for him, but he kept getting out in front. He got himself a couple of scores. He, he was losing his foot in a couple of times, but I know he just kept working and kept getting the ball and uh, get, getting it to his teammates more often than not. Uh, Paddy Mullen got a nice score there in the first half. He gave away three threes in the second half. Kind of wild, wild slashes and... and um, you know, just unnecessary fouls at times, and that was a small bit costly. But the, the real thing for Bally Gunner is that they kept going, even when it looked hopeless. I think everyone here was thinking, there's no chance of pulling this out of the bag so late in the game when you see Bally Hale going ahead, 118 to, to 114, and there was 56 minutes on the clock. That was a Richie Reid point. He collected it here on the Hogan stand side, did a 1-2 a with, or Brian Cody had snapped the ball and gave it to him, and he just darted in infield and hit over a beautiful score like that was a real highlight real score tj reed had been scoring adrian mullen had been scoring as i said they were 118 to 114 ahead but you know it just did not give up any gunner and they ended up patiently getting their way back in scored one three out of the one four in the remainder of the game Rose goal was brilliant also a mention must be made of the way they came back from the own own reed goal first off it would have been Great work from Colin Fenley. He won a rock out around the 45, the edge of the D, something like that. Sold it in on goal, did his trademark, batted, finished, threw it up in front of himself, batted it. Unbelievable save from Stephen O'Keefe. Shane O'Sullivan missed the rebound and Owen, Owen, Owen Reid, who won an All-Ireland here in 2007, along with um, TJ Reid and, and Colin Fenley was a sub that day. Um, he whipped it into the net and you just thought that's going to be game over because that put them 114 to 13 ahead. Porrick Mahoney knocks over a couple of frees. And then Desi Hutchinson, he caught a lovely ball in from Paddy Levy, turned and just uh, hit the ball back across the goal. And it was a very tough one for 
for Dean Mason. There was no getting to it, really. He probably would be slightly disappointed with the winning goal, but just that whole boyhood dream of Harry Ruddles, to have that lived out. I mean, he's had to be patient. None of the substitutes were used in the All-Ireland semi-final in the win over Schlock Neal, and Ruddle had been playing earlier in the season, and Philip Mahoney coming back in moved Billy O'Keefe into the forward line, and he kind of lost out, but uh, what a way to, to make an entrance. And incredible stuff for, for Bally Gunner. It must be said, Bally Hale, what champions they've been. Looking for the three in a row today. Still, Cara Finn are the only team to ever do it. But uh, a, a gutsy display, a brilliant display. Would they be back or not? You'd imagine they will. They were down Ronan Corkin today. Um, that, that would have hurt them in the middle of the field. But still, great performances all around from Bally Gunner the whole way through. Barry Cox, I thought he stood up when he was needed towards the end of the game. Uh, Peter Hogan did a couple of nice things toward the end of the game. Levy, his stick work didn't always work out from a couple of passes with the stick in the second half, went straight out over the end line, but still, you know, the ball he got on and won. And Shield in his back line was brilliant. But uh, Harry Ruddle, what a night, and uh, your name is made forevermore.